ridership. What is ridership like at heart, and what do you attribute the increase to? Um, well, actually, this this year in particularly is you know uncharted territories for heart. Um, since January, we've been in the double-digit ridership increases um, up to 19% uh, one particular month, and in, in March we actually hit our highest. Uh, ridership, um, and we're on track to achieving 13 million trips this year alone, uh, which would be a record breaker. Uh, specifically in July, our ridership was up 3%, but considering there were a couple less weekdays and a couple more um, uh, Sundays, um, the average weekday ridership was up 10% compared to the same month last year. So you have more riders, but you're having to get by with less funding because of what a, tell us the revenue picture for Hart. Um, yeah, every government agency is struggling uh, with decreasing property values. Um, so we're struggling with the same thing too. The um, last couple of years we've been focusing on uh, matching uh, service with demand. So every couple months we up basically update our schedule so that it matches our uh, current and projected ridership trends and that's helped us become more efficient and keep and preserve as much uh, bus service out there as possible. But like I mentioned, uh, uh, you know, um, we're facing the same challenges that a lot, a lot of our local agents, uh, government agencies are facing. But the HART Board has approved a possible increase in the millage rate to 0.5 mills, which is 50 cents for every thousand dollars of assessed value. It hasn't been approved by the county commission yet? Well, um, it hasn't been finalized by the HART board, um, and that'll happen. Um, and, and if they finalize that, that'll be at the end of September after our public hearing process. Um, and we're projecting that that will um, preserve at least the, the, the level of transit service that we currently have out there. How much would that mean for an average household? Um, well, that that would, from what we understand, the average assessed uh, value of a home in 2012 will be about 90 grand, uh, which means it would impact that average assessed home by about 40 cents a year. Bus rapid transit is coming in about a year and a half, and what is bus rapid transit, and where will it be in Hillsboro? Um, well, our Metro Rapid system uh, will be operational in early 2013, and that'll be the first one here in Hillsborough County, um, and basically it'll connect downtown and North Tampa. Um, it's going to be about 17.5 mile corridor, mainly along Nebraska, which currently is our um, corridor with our highest act ridership activity. Um, so it'll be less, what's going to uh, make it faster is less stops. Um, uh, shelters with more passenger amenities such as uh, uh, ticket vending machines at major stops so that people can you know purchase their passes for faster boarding um, so it'll uh, we expect this to um, you know be well received and and uh, really help out that uh, high activity corridor and people are used to seeing buses in central parts of cities but if you're someone in Hillsborough County and you live out in the in the country in South Hillsboro <laughs> or someplace else, you have an, a new service called Flex. What is Flex, and, and how do people find out about it? Well, Heart Flex is basically um, it's the convenience of using it as a traditional bus route, um, as well as the flexibility of having a more flexible schedule by making reservations in advance so that they can come pick you up curbside. Um, we started with two pilot projects last year in Brandon and South County. Um, this year we've expanded the zones to include town and country, Northdale, and South Tampa. And also the, um, the original South County zone was expanded um, last month as well. Um, so uh, as I mentioned, um, folks can get curb, uh, curbside pickup basically from point A to point B as long as two, those two points are within that same zone um, and all for just 85 cents. Or they can, um, we have heart flex stops um, uh, uh, along the zone and folks can go wait at a heart flex stop just like they would for a bus. So it, it works both ways. And before the 2012, I'm going to start that over, before the 2010 election, Hillsborough voters were considering light rail. 
and Hart was studying light rail through, and, and among other transit alternatives, through this alternatives analysis, but it was recently put to bed. Where does the alternatives analysis st and light rail stand in Hillsborough County? Um, well, they all are correct. The alternatives analysis study um, uh, in earlier this year, um, the Hart Board decided to wind that down, um, and particularly to preserve some of inf that information um, that we obtained for future studies. Um, and that's where it stands now. Uh, right now, we are working on our transit development plan, which is a 10-year plan that's updated annually with the Florida Department of Transportation. And um, we focus on high-quality bus service as well as um, introducing some transit enhancements. Um, and uh, again, that's updated annually, and um, that's underway right now.